my initial reaction was, ugh, YG1 got to do an identity design for an airline and we're doing book covers? Really? <laughs> What's up everybody? This is Young Gun Season 2, the book cover design challenge. This is where we ask the participants to come up with a series of book covers for classic literature. I hope you play along with us and you can compare your results. So here are the parameters. What I want you to do is to take three classic works of literature, fiction books, redesign the covers and create a set of three book covers. They can be linked by theme, color, style, whatever you can think of, as long as they feel like they came from one creator. That's key. I want you to use this template with a maximum of four colors. You can use any kind of imagery, illustration, graphics, vector. You don't have to create it yourself. You can use stock. That's okay. I want you to resist the urge to use photography on the cover itself. You can use elements of photography, but it cannot be photographic as its core. You must also include the publisher's logo, the UPC code, you know, the stuff that you see on books to make it look legitimate. Consider finishes, inks, materials, whatever you can do to make it memorable and spectacular. Here's how you'll be scored. One, and the most important thing is concept. Is there a concept in here? What I'm talking about is achieving the aha moment. Is there an element of surprise where upon closer inspection, I discover something different. You can also think of this as the Easter egg or the image within the image concept. Okay. We want to make sure you convey the main theme of the story. So you need to understand the story in order to, to be able to communicate it. Does it have shelf presence? You can hear me say this over and over again, because the job of design is to draw somebody in to get them curious enough to at least want to investigate and spend some of their money, bring them in. Lastly, cohesion, do the three book covers that you've designed feel like they're part of a set. I've also curated a few book covers that really caught my eye in the Macbeth book cover on the left hand side. I love the idea here because it reads both as a skull and the crown. Here are a bunch of covers for 1984. And I wanted to show this to you because even though there are reoccurring themes about being watched by Big Brother through the eyes and skill of very different graphic artists, you can see there's many different ways to solve this problem. These are some retro covers for Pelican books. I love these. So simple, very graphic, very powerful, not a heavy conceptual component to it, but very good. Some book covers from Penguin Books. I love the graphic simplicity. It tells a little bit of a narrative. It's a little bit abstract, but it's really, really cool and powerful. Okay, last up are these book covers. And just doing things with hands or images within images. The book cover from Misery, I really like. I, I don't want to do any spoilers, but there's a, there's a writer and an ax and it gets bloody. That's it. I hope having some of these book covers that I picked out inspire you, spark some ideas and give you a guideline in terms of what I'm hoping for. I find that whenever you're starting a new project, it helps to take a moment to look at what's been done to kind of inform what you want to do. When you're looking at inspiration, try to understand the conceptual framework of what they're doing, whether it's a double exposure or an image hidden within the other image in terms of like a silhouette or an outline. That's what the ideas are. Then that might give you some ways of interpreting your book. What you have to do is read the synopsis and try to understand what the main themes are. And as it turns out, there are only a few main themes in life. Man versus nature, man versus man, man versus time, man versus himself. And then within that, to try to find the nuanced way of how it relates to the book itself. So you need to figure out what is being said in between the lines. All right, designers, the challenge starts now. I love this project. I love this assignment because I'm a big fan of classic literature, but at the same time, I think this is a very, very hard assignment. Like it's almost impossible to do because these are not some simple concepts we're talking about. These are classics. They're packed with these huge ideas. And I'm a little afraid. I'm a little afraid. I'm not going to be able to do justice to the writers, but I will just do my best and we'll see how that goes. In general though, I think it's going to go okay because after the first assignment, I learned to stress a little less over the result and focus a little more on the process and enjoying it. So after reading everything about challenge number two, I think I'm pretty confident that I can do this. Um, 
The challenging part is layouts because I don't think I'm the best when it comes to layouts. But I think um, I'll probably challenge myself into doing that and let's see how it goes. At first I thought that the book cover design challenge was going to be a little bit boring, but once I started looking for inspiration and having an idea about what I wanted to do, I started to get a lot more excited about this project. I think that it will go well, but I always start out really confident and excited about the project, and then by the end I'm like, what the heck am I doing? What am I about to turn in? And there's always things that I wish I would have done differently or wish that I would have tried another idea. Really most of my fears come around being in front of the camera and recording the process, but now that a few episodes are out, I've gotten a lot more comfortable speaking, talking to Chris, like I'm going into this challenge in just a lot better headspace and like looking at it as more fun than like this big scary thing. When I got the challenge for the book covers, I just thought like, okay. <laughs> but then, after kind of sleeping on it a little bit, I realized that book covers are so open-ended, um, especially the list of books that we were given. I mean, this leaves us so much room for artistic expression, unlike an airline, for example. This is essentially, it can be art, it can be an illustration, it can be a painting, and even though we're restricted by color, there's still just like so many things that you can do with a book cover. So I realized that though there isn't this element of creating like a luxury brand identity, there is this element of like creative freedom, which I think is a beautiful thing. I feel prepared for the challenge. I have already had this assigned in third year of university. So I'm just going to apply what I learned to the project. I have three different design directions in mind. Minimalistic, geometric, more traditional, illustrative. I'm thinking of trying to adapt at least one of these themes to be fully revealed while viewing the full cover of the book. But then again, a lot of these decisions will be made as I go. I want to give a big heartfelt thank you to Sony who supplied us with seven cameras the A6400, which is a perfect camera for the kind of shooting that we're doing to the participants of this competition. So Sony, thank you very much. You have to know the truth and because you're gonna be the communicator of that truth. So if you don't understand it, you're just making stuff up. And that's where most people spend their time, just making stuff up.